Good day everyone. I have something to say. I am stupid. Yes, I am stupid. But not for the reasons that you would think. No, I did not fail my math quiz or my earth science quiz. It has nothing to do with the academics at all. I am stupid because I don't know how to ride a bicycle. Now, that may be the weirdest thing that you've heard this day, but later I'm going to explain why. Using the theory of multiple intelligences, our striper perfection, and how it can push us to become the best versions of ourselves. I can assure you there is nobody in the entire world who knows everything. Everybody knows something that they can be proud of for being good at it, and yet they think they are stupid, just because they are not good at everything else. So, let me explain to you why everybody is stupidly smart. We all had this mindset that intelligence is only rooted in our cognitive abilities or our general sense of knowledge, like solving math problems, memorizing scientific facts, or speaking English very well. In short, it's all focused on academics or in school. But this guy, Howard Gardner, challenged that idea. He proposed that intelligence is not only cognitive but also skill-related specifically logical or mathematical, linguistic, musical, spatial, bodily kinesthetic, naturalist, interpersonal, and intrapersonal. It means that intelligence can be a lot of things, like what you like or what you're good at. It is completely revolutionary to think that intelligence can be interpreted by what you are good at and not that you're up to the standards of perfect mental ability. Speaking of perfection, did you ever wish that you were perfect? That you would be the ideal human being? That you are the perfect example for everybody? Well, you are not alone. In fact, everybody wished they were perfect. It is evident, as stated by Psychology Today, that students strive for perfection in terms of their grade. Even workers strive to be perfect just to impress their bosses. But there is a big problem with this. Nobody is perfect. Even Howard Gardner himself stated that people do not have all types of intelligences, or at least will never excel in, a, in all of them. This just proves that it is impossible to be perfect. If so, then why do we still strive to be perfect? Well, let me answer that for you. We are at least good at something. Like me, who is good at drawing and playing the piano, and I am so proud of it. We all have something that we are proud of, and that is good, but we are not good at everything. In my case, I'm not good at sports. We humans try to be perfect, that is why we want to be good at everything. Why we want to possess all types of intelligences. If we aren't good at something, we would spend our whole life believing that we will never be good at it. In short, we would forever think that we are stupid. Just because we don't know something, we would start to deteriorate ourselves, losing trust in ourselves, doubting, up to the point where we are so unmotivated, even the things that we are good at, we begun to lose interest in them. Let me repeat that. We will forever think that we are stupid. When I was little, I would always think that stupid was an insult or a derogatory offensive remark. But according to Miriam Webster Dictionary, it means a particular lack of knowledge. In other words, it means that you don't know something. The mere fact that you think that you are stupid doesn't mean that you don't know anything, but it means that you can learn something new. This is why you don't let negativity get the best of you. Use that negativity to turn yourself around, to push you, to motivate you. If someone says you're not doing good enough, it means that you can do better. And believe it or not, this is why we're stupidly smart. By using our lack of knowledge on something, we are able to push ourselves into learning something new, to prove to ourselves that I can do better. I can do more, but I can still be the best version of myself. To sum up, there are eight different types of intelligences according to Howard Gardner. There are some intelligence types that we are good at and some we are bad at. We always want to know everything and to be good at anything. This is why we have different types of intelligences based on what you know and what you are good at. Not knowing things will demoralize us into thinking that we are stupid, but it gives us something that we can work on and improve ourselves. Everybody is stupidly smart because we are all good at something, and not being good at something makes us feel stupid, but it means that we can learn so much more. If you don't know something, don't be afraid to open a book and get help from others. Teach yourself what you want to know. 
Oh, and do you remember in the beginning where I said I'm so stupid just because I don't know how to ride a bicycle? Well, just recently, on September 6, 2020, I was able to experience my first bicycle ride. This is literally the first time I ever rode a bicycle. This was the best day in 2020. <laughs> Before I end, I would like to remind you that you're never too old to learn a new trick. And this is why everybody is stupidly smart. Thank you.